Hi everyone, today I am going to be showing you how to create exploded views and I'm going to demonstrate that on this skateboard model here. Now a quick way to start an exploded view is just clicking on this exploded view option in the assembly command manager. These are added as child configurations to whichever configuration is active. So if you have multiple configurations of your assembly, you're going to want to go to your configuration manager and right click whichever one you want to add that view to and then select new exploded view. And now from here, I have the ability to start adding exploded view steps. There's two different types of steps you can add. These are going to be your regular steps where your components translate and rotate relative whichever direction that you select or a radial step where the components translation and rotation is going to be relative to each other. I don't really have a need for this with this assembly, but I'll start by using it and just demonstrating what it looks like. So I select my radial step. I'm going to flip my model over. Now you can also name these steps, which is definitely best practice. So I'm just going to call this one nuts and then go ahead and start selecting some components. Now if I zoom in, I'll make my first selection here. Nothing really happens, but as soon as I make a second selection, I'm given a rotation ring and a translation arrow. And there's also this red kind of axis that's being created, which is relative to the center radius between those components. Now, if I spin along that rotation ring, notice how those components are rotating relative to that center axis. If I'm happy with what I just did, I can right click or hit the done option here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the undo option. Now notice if I use that arrow, those components are going to move away from each other. But I'll hit undo again and then select another two nuts here. Notice what happens now. All these are rotating in relation to that new center axis or they are translating in relation to that center axis. I could accept that. It's really not what I'm after here though, so I'll go ahead and right click that step and just delete it. And I want to switch back to a regular step. Now sometimes it gets a little stuck and the best way to switch between them if you run into this, is just going to be exiting that explode command and then going ahead and starting it over. So I'm going to switch back to a regular step here. And again, I'll name my first step nuts. Rather selecting all eight nuts, I went ahead and created a selection set. So I'll select that. And I don't really need rotation rings. So I'm going to turn this option off at the bottom here, show rotation rings. It just kind of cleans up the graphics area a little bit. I'll just click and hold on this translation arrow and place those nuts somewhere that looks good to me. Now you don't really need to put in exact values here. You can kind of eyeball it, which you probably will do most of the time. But I'll go ahead and just put in a value of one inch and then show you how that updates. I'm happy with that. Again, I'm going to change the name to nuts and then I'll hit done. Now for my next explode step, I'll call that one bolts. Then I'll select my base bolts move them down and I'll actually put in a value of five inches here. That looks good. I'll hit done. And next step, I want to move the skateboard itself down a little bit. So I'll select the deck and somewhere in the middle. I'm not really concerned with the value. So I'll release that and I can just right click to accept that command. And now I need to piece apart these trucks and wheels and bearings and things like that. I know it's a sub-assembly. Now we do have the ability to manipulate components within sub-assemblies by selecting this select sub-assembly parts option. But rather than doing that, I'm going to create the exploded view of that truck itself within that component. So I'm just going to accept the steps that we've created already. Now I'll right click that component and I'll go ahead and open up the assembly. Now that I'm in this truck assembly, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new exploded view. And for my components, I want to select everything besides the base. 
And notice right now, if I drag them up, they're going in the directions, the X, Y, and Z directions relative to this assembly. But I don't really want that. I want them to go along kind of this highlighted kingpin here. So what I can do is go select the center of that triad, click and hold on it, and then just drop it right onto the top of that face here. And now if I drag everything, it's gonna drag along that shaft. Now I'm gonna undo that though, because I want to space all these components away from each other. So I'm gonna turn on the auto space components option down here. And then you'll notice that there's a slider. If I move this slider all the way to the left, I won't get that much space between the components. All the way to the right is gonna give me a lot of space between the components. I like to leave it a little bit somewhere right of center, but this is all gonna be personal preference. And I need to move that kind of reference triad again, because I changed that selection. Now if I'm zooming out a little, give myself some space. As I drag, you can see all those components kind of spacing away from each other. When you release, you're gonna have the ability to manipulate each one's position. So I actually want this top nut a little bit above that hanger here. That looks good to me. And then I can right click to accept that. And I wanna piece apart this internal section of this wheel. So this nut, the wheel and the bearings. Now this is one sub assembly here as well. So I'll clear my selection. Now I can click select sub assembly parts and I'll use that same auto spacing technique now on both sides of this truck. So go ahead and pull that one out about three inches here. There we go, that looks good. Right click to accept. And then I'll do the same thing on this other side. One, two, three, four. Go out about three inches again. Right click to accept. And that looks good. So I'll go ahead and just save. Close this and go back to my skateboard assembly. Now that I'm back in here, I wanna go edit that exploded view so I can expand the regular configuration, find that exploded view, right click it and go to edit feature. Now uncheck, select sub assembly parts and auto spacing and then just select one, two sub assemblies. Now at the bottom we have this from sub assembly option. So if I click on that, Notice it immediately explodes out both of those components. That looks good to me. I'll accept that. Now that I have a finished exploded view, I can right click that and animate my collapse if I want to. Right now I have it set to looping here, or reciprocate it's called. We could actually loop it so it would only show the collapse. Reciprocate's gonna show both the expansion and collapsion. You can slow it down or speed it up. I can exit it. To activate my exploded view, I can double click it, double click it again to inactivate it. And then finally, if you wanted to, you can add some explode lines pretty easily just by right clicking on the exploded view, selecting smart explode lines, and then expecting that command. And if you don't like how those are set up, maybe you can right click, hit dissolve smart explode lines, right click and edit the sketch. And then from here, I would maybe just drag select and then delete some of these that I don't like. So there's four there, four there, four there. Delete, delete, accept, and rebuild. And there we go. We're done and we've created an exploded view. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content and leave a comment on what you want to see next.